move out day, which is coming up, landlords are asking tenants to properly dispose of items so that as renters move away, they're not stuck holding a bill. Our Kelly Arthur shares what you need to know. Moving in or out in Madison, landlords like Tom Ripple know it's best to expect the unexpected. You're going to have people that leave the place as nice as it was when uh, they moved in, and then you're going to have people that are a little bit rough on it, uh, and that's uh, understatement. So, 40 years in, Ripple of Ripple Property Management has some horror stories that he'd rather not broadcast. You don't want to know that. <laughs> you don't want to know that. What he will say is that one of the biggest headaches comes from people improperly disposing of items. A lot of people take the shortcut and just dump stuff at the curb. That means Ripple ends up having to pay a fee or risks getting a city fine. There's a lot of electronic stuff that's actually banned from the landfills. Things like televisions, computers, there's stuff that you just can't throw away that you should recycle by law. Even items that you might consider small, like a microwave, require a fee to be picked up. And the list goes on. According to the City of Madison's website, appliances like refrigerators, stoves, even grills can be put on the curb with a fee sticker costing $15 to $35. But televisions and computers must be brought to the drop-off site directly. And that's not just a student move thing, too. That's at any time of the year thing. You want to bring those into us. Like every year before, Ripple doesn't expect his curbs to be TV-free. Some people, uh, as in all aspects of human uh, behavior, they'll take the shortcut. But he's hopeful this is the most headache-free move-out day to date. A lot of people will do the right thing. In Madison, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. Madison has drop-off sites on the east and west side, and they are both open seven days a week.